At the end of 1831, Darwin had set sail for what he later described as by far the most important event in my life. He joined the crew of the HMS Beagle to sail around the world, plotting the positions of the countries as they went. Darwin's official job title was the gentleman's companion to the ship's captain. As well as other duties, his main job was to provide intelligent conversation. The trip was meant to take two years. It, however, in the end, lasted almost five years, which must have seemed so much longer for Darwin, as he suffered from terrible seasickness. The misery I have endured from seasickness is far beyond what I ever guessed at. Darwin collected thousands of plants and animals during the five years, which he sent back to England to friends who would record them and name them if they were new species. During his trip, he noticed that certain animals like mockingbirds and large land tortoises that lived on islands looked very similar to ones from close by islands or mainland, but had slight differences. Locals in the Galapagos claimed they could tell which island a tortoise came from just by the shape of their shells. He didn't realise the importance of these observations until he returned to England.